has rights. Now, what did you have before you were a trustee? You had privileges. You didn't have no power as, as before you became trustee. Okay? So these obligations protect you uh, because those obligations are contractual obligations that protect you from liability. So when you're operating under trust, you can't be really held liable as long as you put TTEE behind your name when you're signing off. TTEE, all rights reserved. It's pretty much all you need to put. Am I breaking up again? You're good, my brother. You're good. All good. right. So um, <laughs> this gets a little extensive. Let me read one or two of them for you. Um it says the trustee, look at number C, the trustee may pay themselves such reasonable compensation for their services, right? So that's your fee schedule. You include your fee schedule into the trust taxes because the trustee is the one responsible for filing the taxes. You get to bill the trust for filing the taxes. That's a separate fee, right? So it says, indeed, any such trustee in office shall have the rights, duties, and authority and may exercise all rights, powers, and privileges granted hereunto this trust agreement, whether or not discretionary, and shall be responsible for his or her own actions and may take such actions as are required to assure the effective day-to-day -day operation of the trust. All right? These are the duties of the trustee. Um, right here, number I, I mean, letter I. The trustee in office, and that says trustees. You can have more than one trustee. Just be mindful. If you're married, uh, if you want to put your kids, it doesn't have to be just one. But the trustee in office shall be responsible for what? Annual reports concerning the activities of the trust, including any other funding. That means reporting all of the income to the trust, demonstrating that the trust is being operated in furtherance of its purpose. That means the trustee is the ta is the person doing the tax returns, not H and R Block. Don't sign trustee over to them. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to bill your trust an astronomical number and not even tell you, and say and laugh and say they don't even know they could have billed their trust themselves. So why do you think? They're so quick to provide this service to you without you having to pay any money up front. There's a reason for that. Okay. Um, administration of the trusts. 